So here I'm just going to do a quick tour of what I have for Zaltopia right now. Um, we start in my little small Kukiri inspired village. Got a little farm going around here. A little pond slash swimming pool here. Just a small little barn in here. And then we have a little house, a restaurant, another little house, and another little house. And then if we go this way, we enter into the Lost Woods, which this way leads back out towards Hyrule Field. That's where that's going to go when I get there. And then this way we have a loop around to town to give you that, you know, lost type feeling. Around here. Um, and then we go this way. We'll go this way first. We have the Forest Temple, which I'm not going to show you everything because I don't want to open all the doors and mechanics but this is my forest temple we have a room here Blue slime po, yellow slime po, green slime po, and purple. And then here it tells us to go into the well, so you have to find the switch that will open the well in order to be able to go into another room which I will not do because you need to activate everything. I want everything to be already prepared for when I upload the island. Over here we have the Stelfos room. Usually the um, blocks for the Song of Time are supposed to be outside the door, but I put them inside the room. Um, you can only get up there from going through there. And then this button isn't here. You have to actually earn it to be able to put it there. That takes you down to the final boss room, which we, which I decorated with extremely large paintings. This painting is made by Hum Smush. Um, she has a YouTube video uh, and channel for so many great tutorials for Dragon Quest Builders too. So I encourage you all to go and visit that. And that's what I can show you of the Forest Temple right now. There are other rooms and other things, but you'll have to come visit to find out. So now let's go back over here 
through the, in quotations, meadow and towards the Deku tree. So this is my interpretation of the great Deku tree. The grass went haywire. <laughs> Um, everything is super functional, so you can go down here and work things out. Again, I don't want to break anything or activate anything, but, um, there's a special switch order which will let you, um, jump down here. And a bunch of other little secret doors and puzzles to figure out down here also. And then there's just a small little room there. Um, so let's go towards Termina. So far this is where I've located the entrance to being able to go towards Termina. We fall down this big tree trunk which I didn't. Uh, cover in bark yet down here and we enter this room hold on I'm starving which is where we would experience our transformation into a Deku scrub and then we go over here and do our first jumps then we get to the jumping pillars, which you have to jump to be able to get there. So jump. And then we arrive to the twisty corridor that takes us to the wheelhouse room. So this is the wheelhouse room. You go upstairs and up the, and you arrive in north, uh, not north, but south clock town. So this is what South Clock Town looks like right now. We've got a veggies and fruit stand here, a lantern stand, a little fortune teller shack that I didn't, forgot to add the rest of the carpet. <laughs> um, a flower stand. And over here we have um, a chest shape inventory space where I keep all my my inventory and then this is what I've been working on over here we have West Clock Town so I made little houses that decorate the path the bank more little houses I did some greenery because I'm, I'm a very big fan of what's green. Um, working up here to make the post office and whatnot, the bomb shop probably. Um, and then if we go this way, we arrive in North Clocktown. So this is North Clocktown. I made a little play area. And this is um, the gate. I think it goes towards Hyrule Field. Uh, not Hyrule, the Termina Field. Um, down here, we have a little secret room where you can catch a fish, get bugs, grab a heart. Then over here, my friend Anthony um, built this for me. It's his interpretation of the Deku Scrub jumping game. So 
So lots of jumping to be done here. Really cool. I don't think he finished yet, but I want to eat so fast. you're running so fast. Wow. And then going up here, we have the Great Fairy Fountain. And that's it. I don't know if I've shown you the clock tower. But that's our clock tower. I hope this video was quick enough and that you guys liked it. Bye-bye.